Hi and welcome to Step Adores Jewelry and More and welcome to my last BB Craft uh, video series number three for the YouTube program that I was involved in with BB Craft. You can uh, purchase any of these items, well the beads, let me take these out, any of these items that you see were from BB Craft and the descriptions will be in the link below for these particular items this is four millimeter agates and it came with 10 strands of different colors then these eight millimeter agate beads and then these uh spacer beads and and um there's different colors gold silver and copper it's like a almost a rose gold there too and those descriptions will be in the description box below. You can use code Stephanie5, S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E, -E, number five, for five dollars off. That is good until May the, the May the 9th of 2024. And you will get five dollars off with a $40 purchase or more. And, uh... Make sure that you, if you are a YouTube creator, that you get involved in this YouTube program where they send you uh, some goodies in exchange for uh, some videos. So this is my third and final video. And hopefully in the future we can do more business. That would be great if they choose to work with me again. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do my last and final project and it's going to correlate with the last two pieces of jewelry that I did with the seashell. Uh, it was a Jesse James seashell bead, but I left those at home when I went for my home time. So I don't have them with me to show you, but you can always go back to um, that video. And I'll try to leave a link here in this uh, iCard box here. And you can go back to those videos and see what it was that I made uh, with these products. And I'm thinking I'm going to make a, uh, a earring set with these. And I believe I'm going to end up giving this series to my mom because I don't make too many things uh, very delicate. They're always uh, pretty bulky or or busy and she likes simple and she told me that the uh, bracelet and the necklace that I created made her happy and I don't hear that very often because she says I'm dark and I am dark I usually do a lot of dark things or bulky things or busy things so even with all this I'm gonna try my best to keep it simple but I think I'm gonna make her a uh, an earring set to go with the necklace and the bracelet. And this is indeed sterling silver plated 20 millimeter shepherd hook ear wires. And I also have 24 pieces of antique sterling silver plated 4.75 millimeter smooth jump ring. These I got from Hobby Lobby. This one was on sale. I probably got these on sale too, but then again, it might not have been just because, uh, I have them so without a little sticker, but I usually wait till they're on sale to get those. But let's get started. The first things I'm gonna do is see if, I can't remember, but I'm gonna see if these um, Moonstone style, these semi-opaque frosted, if you would, um, agates fit on my 20 gauge wire and they do. So this is going to work just fine on my 20 gauge. So that's good news. So those agate beads work. I also have the blue and purple ones. I'm not sure which way I'm going with this yet. So I'm just going to stick these over here. 
I want to keep it uniform with the other pieces, so I wanted to also use these um, little square spacer beads here. So I know they fit. And I just want to keep in mind in my memory of about what they look like. And then I also have these uh, Druzy beads that I got from Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember which. But I have about three different ones. This one has the blue, and this one has the gold and purplish look to them. So there's three different kinds of jersey beads I can choose from here. And of course, I have to decide, I have to remember my mom is simple, so I'm going to have to decide which one I think she would like to have as her main focal bead. And I know that she likes turquoise, so however, I do have blue and purple in this one. So I may use the yellow one for the main bead and then incorporate these little agates here. That way I get all of the colors in here and we can keep it, you know, somewhat simple. So let's just do that. Let me get have my big scissors here. I don't know where my little ones are right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and break that open and I'm gonna break these purple ones open. And just pull some of these off. I only really need one per piece probably, but that's okay. I'll just set that aside, get it out of the way. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So let me think about how I want to set this up. Okay, so I definitely want to get another spacer in here. And I like the daisy spacer, but I'm thinking I did use the daisy spacer, so I might just stick with the daisy spacer as well. And then I think I'd like to have one of these um, one of these uh, little silver balls bead balls here and one of let me just move those in the tray it's going to be a simple component, component I think that I put together because mom is simple and I need to remember that so let's just look at this let's put the yellow agate First, a daisy spacer, and then this little silver spacer after the daisy spacer. And I like that right there. It's really cute. I may make a little, hmm, that would be nice, but I want to incorporate the purple and the blue. Okay, hang on, maybe I need to do the purple first. My eyes are a little sketchy tonight. When I say sketchy, I, I mean they're a little blurry due to my diabetes tonight. I've been uh, a bad girl. So, my eyes are paying for it a little bit, so bear with me. Let's see, there's that, there's this, yeah. Okay. And then the little diamond little spacer, and then a blue agate to top it off. And this is just going to be a very simple. A very simple earworm to go with those pieces, but I like it. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. Right there, blow that up a little, and 
I think we're just gonna leave this little off, this little ball off, and just do that right there. Okay, it's, it's too simple for me. I don't know how to do simple, and I just did it, and it feels undone. <laughs> Let me find my wire cutter. Okay, so I was going to use one of these um, silver plated jump rings, but I'm thinking that since I'm keeping it fairly simple, that I am just going to make a loop and just attach it directly to the shepherd's ear hook here. So let's just do that. Let's see. Make it a a nice decent loop. And this back. We have a loop like so. Yeah, so it's kind of a bend it forward. And then bend it back. Give it an eye hook style. Put that back. Sorry about the dinging. I did not take that off of my notifications and I should have before I started recording. So let's go with that. And I'm going to cut this. Oh, you know what? I want one more agate. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and make another loop on this one. Bend it. So, I'm going to make it eye hook. That way I can size it out to about the same size. So we keep it uniform Oops, on the earring. keep that uniform on the earring because I'm kind of bad about measuring. I don't, so. <laughs> it's a bad thing to do when you're a jewelry person, I suppose, but I wing everything. So this is no exception. So there's my little homemade head eye pin. And let's see, I want one of these packets on here as well. But then now we're getting to a lengthy. Let me just look at it and I'll decide if I'll keep it or not. If my eyes will quit deceiving me where the hole is. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Cute. But maybe a little large for mom. So I'm going to take that off. And now. I want to make a little swirly swirl at the end. So I'm just making a little uh, spiral. Just for a little cuteness. I'm gonna make a little spiral. And I'm going to bend that back. There. So, that little spiral head. And it's pretty simple, y'all. However, I do want to uh, make sure that when this dangles on the ear hook, that it is in fact showing the spiral this way. So I'm going to twist that so that the spiral will show like that. So let's go ahead and open this ear hook open. Open it up. Put my dangle on. And then close it back up. And there we go. And let's 
just going in the ear like this, it will in fact show the spiral. So there it is. It's simple, simple as that. I'm going to make the other one off camera. Oh, what the heck, I'll just, it's simple enough, I'll just make another one. And let's just follow suit with a blue agate. The little diamond style spacer. The daisy spacer. the yellow agate bead and it is faceted by the way and then the purple agate so i'm going to do this purple one it's got a little bit of that opaque white it's pretty clear and then i'm going to do another loopy spiral yeah take it and put it at the end and start rounding it off making my loop my spot i'm gonna go ahead and bend this back and then continue to spiral this out That one's not very pretty. Should have just waited to spiral that. You know what? I just broke it too. So now time to make another one. Sometimes that happens. You overwork it. I bent it a little too rough and that caused uh oh, I'm gonna have to cut it from this side. Because I can't get it off of there. Come on now. There we go. All right, a blooper, a blooper. Okay, I can't even get it off on this side. What's going on here? Oh, what did Steph do? All right, we're gonna make this happen, Captain. There we go. We'll get it off one way or the other. Somehow I got this one stuck on here. I don't know how I did that, but we're not gonna worry about that. We've got another one. Let me have my 20 gauge artistic wire. I'm going to make a loop on it. Just like the last one. Of course now I can't really measure it, but I think it was about a two inch piece. long I'd rather have it a little long than too short because I can always trim that all right one more time guys I think we can do this a blue agate square daisy bead yellow agate Purple agate. Oh, that one's stuck. Okay, let's go with another one. I'll get those later. A purple agate. And then we'll just start doing a little loop here. Continue the loop. Around. And now I will take it and bend this out. Like the last one. And bring it back in. Now we have the spirals right here.
And I'm gonna get my other shepherd's hook. And open it up. I'm gonna put that on here and hook it on. Close it back up. And there we go. We now have a set of earrings as simple as pie. You know, I feel like I need to do something else for this video. So I may make a little stretchy cord bracelet. Just for fun. But let's go. Well, if I can get a hold of Let me see this pen. I got a pen right here. Maybe I can stick it on there. There we go. There. That's pretty uniform. Let me zoom in on this. There we go. Cute. I think they're cute. Don't you think they're cute? And you can go back to the other videos and look at what I created for the bracelet and the necklace. And I will put those in the iCard and in the description below. And you can go check those videos out. And let me think if I'm going to do more. Okay, I think I made up my mind. I'm definitely going to make more earrings. Because I never make earrings. I'm trying to tighten this up. Hang on. Okay, so I off camera came up with two other designs and I kind of like those two and um, so they would go with either or and I'll let my mother decide which earring she likes best so I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you right now this one here I used a head pin which means it looks like a little nails head and all I did was put the little little square diamond spacer bead, the blue agate bead, the daisy spacer, the faux druzy glass bead, and I think I left the purple one off of there and just used this semi-opaque agate bead there we go okay I knew I was missing something <laughs> it just didn't look right so I had added one of these little bicone spacer beads so that's gonna go next I knew something looked off however if I know mom she'd probably like it just like that right there I may just make another one here she's a little more simple I think I'm gonna make that right there for her to choose from and I will leave these two on another one so I'll just have to get some more of these uh, shepherd hooks to make a pair or just save that dangle and I think that's what I'm going to do I think I'm going to make another one of these for mom I think that's what she'd like she loves blue turquoise rather so it's kind of a turquoisey color and I don't know if it's just me but camera looks blurry I, it might just be my eyes <laughs> I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and make this as a separate bead so you got to watch something different I know she likes small so I'm gonna keep that small and just go ahead and make a loop spin that around swish it up and back under Get 
yeah, I knew it looked a little blurry there. Okay. Now we've got it like this. And then we just take it and wrap it a couple of times. And secure that. And then I'll just snip this off with my flush cutters. This isn't the best flush cutter, by the way, but I had to get something because my other ones were ruined and it was an on-the-fly buy, purchase, fly-by, get it, purchase, it was a fly-by purchase. And it was a quick one, so I'm not liking it too much. It bends, this metal is not, sh this is a cousin's brand. Um, I, I honestly hate to say it, but I don't recommend it. It was cheap, but I was on a budget, so I went with cheap. And what do they say? You get what you pay for? The little handle is moving. I mean, it's brand new. I can't even cut it. That little tip is not very good. I'll get me a better set after a while i got some old ones i think my old ones might do better than this or do i just have my big ones let's see let me try my old blue ones here this one might be all right oh yeah see much better well it just goes to show you get what you pay for i do not remember what i paid for those or where I even got them so but they work better than that so there we go I think I'm gonna like that better for mom anyway let me just open that ear wire up put that dangle on there and there we go cute 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 she is a silver bell too. She likes silver. So I think that's what I'm going to do for her. But I'll give her the option. Here, excuse me. Here is the other one. There we go. And then I'm going to make this last purple one. It's kind of soft. It's got that soft druzy to it. And I like that one a lot. So this one had the eye pen. It had the, um, and I stole the spacers here. So there's two of these bicone spacers. So here's a bicone spacer from BB Craft. My purple agate from BB Craft. My faux druzy. right there and I'm going to finish it off with my bicone spacer here and then I'm going to bend this over grab my round nose pliers make my loop make sure I've done all this so it's supposed to be yep make my loop flip it pull it back under And you can see that it's been wrapped. And then I'm going to hold on to this and just give it a couple of turns. And then we'll snip it. Let me make sure that is flat. You gotta grab it, Seth. There we go. And then squish that little end down so that it doesn't grab anything. I 
and you want to feel for it to make sure it's not poking that one is still poking so my eyes I probably missed it yeah just make sure it's squished down really well there we go I need to cut that some more. It's sticking out way too much for my liking. There we go. Now we can squish it in. There we go. And then we'll just put this ear hook on. Open that up. Pop it on. Close it back up. And now we have another set of earrings. Beautiful. I like it. So I'm going to pop these on my pen so we can look at the different earrings. You know, I, I rarely make earrings and I really kind of hate it because when I make uh, quick jewelry on the go, I never have earrings to go with it. I never make my earrings. I always have bracelets and and uh, and uh, always have bracelets and necklaces, but I never have the earrings. Uh, just never really got into earring making too much, but I've decided that I needed to go ahead and do that because I always end up with not having any earrings to wear when I put myself when I pick when I rarely fix myself up <laughs> and I do mean rarely I'm always driving trucks so oh, come on stay on there I'm always driving a truck so I don't get to dress up very often but when I do you know I try I try there we go so here we go. Here is all of my little creations. This one, these two will have to have a match. So I'll get another ear hook. I don't know if I have some at home, but I think my mom would probably like this smaller one here. I'm just gonna lay these down so you can see them. There we go, I'll zoom in. There we go. Super, super duper cute. And you can make yours with BB Craft products as well and any of your little extra findings. So, looks like I need to turn that one a little bit. No, that's good. Anyways, so this was my last uh, BB Craft video for now. Hopefully there'll be another one in the future. Uh, make sure that you check out the BB Craft YouTube program. And don't forget, you can get $5 off with my, uh, with my code, Stephanie5, S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E, -E, with the number five for $5 off with a $40 or more purchase. And that coupon is good till May the 9th, 2024. Go get your BB Crafts. Get your BB Craft on. Get your BB Craft on. <laughs> and then the descriptions of the products that I used in regards to BB Craft will be in the description below. And I guess we will see you guys later. Thank you so much, BB Craft, for uh, joining with me. And I apologize for the delay on this last video. A lot is going on. I'm back to work. Made it a little difficult. And I had a lot to do when I went home. But I hope that doesn't deter you from wanting to work with me again. And I guess we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.